Is that an earthquake? A, ha a hanker quanker. <laughs> hanker quanker! Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Well, so we're off. We're off. So, ooh, what is that? That right there is a squirrel. That's not a squirrel. That's a squirrel. No, that looks like a. Uh, that's a squirrel. No, that's not a squirrel. That's a beaver. That's a beaver. <laughs> sure, it's a beaver. It might be a trash panda. Oh, uh, sure. Anyways, hi. As we <laughs> drive on the wrong side of the road. Um. It's a one-lane road. How's there a wrong side? Well, true. It's a weird road. Anyways, I'll post it. It's weird. But anyways, hi. So we're aboard Joint Base Andrews. <laughs> Everybody looks at the smart car. Yeah, because we're tiny. We're weird. Oh, he's got a stop sign. Oh, yeah. So anyways, we're, <laughs> we're Joint Base Andrews in uh, lovely Maryland. And right now we're dealing with uh, wonky weather. <laughs> Yay. We're getting the outskirts of Ian. Ian. So anyways, we wanted to share some information because we're here at the fam camp um, by here. And um, we we were given some information about this facility that wasn't all that accurate. No. So we thought we would share our experience here. We've been here a week above mm -hmm. this base. Yep. Now I'll tell you, getting here is um, the armpits. It's it's interesting on a weekend to roll into this place. Yeah, you don't if you can avoid coming here on a weekend. Just I would just say avoid coming to the national capital area on a weekend. Yes, um, roll in during a weekday. It's a lot easier for you. Jace. Yeah, just avoid the weekends. Oh my gosh, leave on a weekday, arrive on a weekday. That's the best overall scheme of things. So we're going to tell you some things about this. this so you may have some more information that was not privy to us and uh, help you have a smooth transition other than the driving here. Um, so one, it is $45 a day rate. Yes. Ooh, and uh, we're just going to kind of, this road really, the roads up here really bite by the way. So it's $45 a day. Yep. Uh, the, full hookup. We were told there was no paved uh, spots. Yes, they're all paved except for uh, the There's like non-utility, the ones that only have electricity only. Those do not, they're, they're graveled wow. and there's tent camping. Uh, another weird thing about this, your camp, uh, your your check-in site, your, where you go to check-in, is not at the campground. So, uh, find out where you're going, like call when you're coming, arriving to the base to get your campsite because you're going to have to unhook your vehicle if you don't have a, a different vehicle to drive around with or you're going to be driving down really narrow roads, streets to take your RV down to go to the camp host. So find out in advance as you're arriving what site you're going to so you can then go and check in and fill out all the paperwork. Yes, sir. Because several people showed up over uh, the weekend and trying to figure out where the camp host was to check in and in a quarter yeah it was kind right of an interesting experience um, another thing about it is they are sticklers for rules here and the fam camp, yes. yeah the fam camp is a very stickler for rules uh, your dogs your pets cannot be off leash at all at any time uh, you will get written up if you do there is a dog park there though where yeah, you, you want to take them off leash yeah there's a dog park that's a separate story but as far as like uh, in front of your 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 RV no uh, you must keep your vehicle in your space. It cannot go out into the drive at all, or they're going to come by and tap and tag you and ask you to please move your vehicle. If your vehicle does not fit firmly in your space, they'll ask you to park it in another area. Two, uh, if you have any like propane tanks or unsecu unsecured <laughs> or unattached propane tanks, they'll ask you to either secure it to a tree or a uh, solid like your RV to keep it from falling over and causing a fire hazard. Yeah. They, we had that happen to us. They so. quite literally made me take a rope and tie my tank to a tree. Mm -hmm. Another thing to let you know is check-in is prompt is at 12 o'clock, but check-out is promptly at 11. There is no late checkouts. 
because the road, as I, we were mentioning earlier, is a narrow one way, uh, narrow road. So yeah, um, there's a reason why that checkout is at that time for everybody because they clean up your area, prep it, put the signs up for the next person coming in. So you must vacate that on time. And they are sticklers for it. Very. Um, stickler for rules, check in and check in, check in and check out times. Uh, they do have um, shower rooms and stuff like that for people that don't have um, bathrooms and stuff in their RV or don't want to use them. Um, they do have a dump station for you to use. The check-in office is not on site. It's somewhere else at the rec center. Oh, wow. Look at that line. Yeah. Um, it's a gravel road. Uh, inside the park itself and it's kind of rutted they've been filling it in trying to do better on that but it's really not a bad place um, there isn't that many sites to be honest with you and I'll and I'll post a picture and a link to I'll post a picture like here then turn left and I'll put uh, the website and everything in regards to this fam camp in the description bar below so you guys can actually see adequately as far as the information provided for this spam camp so uh, you have to have DOD access to this uh, facility because it is on a base and it's right in the middle of a golf course yes so beware of flying balls Balls. yes I'm not joking you are dead center in the middle of a golf course and you gotta watch out for golf carts too because golf carts come out all the time yep But anyways, um, it's been nice and it's been decent. It's been very loud because of the aircraft going off. Um, they have really big planes that land out here. Um, the commissary and the exchange are not very far. It's about five miles from from it, so it's really not that bad. Uh, they have a very large commissary. Yep. Um, but other than that, it's decently quiet on other parts of the base, but the traffic out here and around here is um, a nvts nuts very much so uh you have to be very very careful driving around here it's it's insane and it's not duly friendly just put it that way parking for places out here it's it's yeah drive at your own risk that's a good way to put it yeah but anyways we wanted to let you guys know and put that information out there so if you happen to be up here and decide you want to go to joint base andrews it's not all that bad if you can get a slot to get in. Here's the left. Um, if you can we get a spot. We just watched somebody up. cut from two lanes over into the far left lane and cut off a guy who was going straight. We just cut us off too. That's nice. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> I kid you not. This is crazy. But um, it's not that easy to get a spot because there isn't that many spaces out here. Um, there isn't many spaces. Uh, so if you're able to get out here, it's not that bad. It is what it is. Place is yeah, this whole area is nuts. Place, turn right. But, well, thank you guys for chilling as we kind of bob and weave and dodge traffic and try not to get hit. So you guys take care of each other, love one another, and uh, as he always says, we'll see you next time we start rambling on down the road. Bye.